Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good day today. It was a good day for me. I got a little sun today. I don't know if you'll be able to tell or not. Uh, I, uh, I sat outside most of the day. Or not most of it, but I, I finished school early today. It was around noon. And uh, I was just sitting in the house, kind of moping, you know, yesterday. The anniversary of her being gone. And uh, I just, you know what, no, I'm going to, it's, it's, this is my favorite time of year. It's, uh, the sun's not too hot. You can sit in the sun and not sweat to death and just bake. Um, there's not a lot of insects around, mostly just bees, which I'm fine with. I love bees. Um, there's not a lot of flies yet. They're coming though. No mosquitoes to speak of yet. So that's good. Um, anyway, I just was like, I'm going to go outside. And I went outside, and this is what happened. I, uh, it was a good day mentally for me, like I said, after, after yesterday. Because uh, I, I took my chair, and I, what I'd always do when Sadie was here. I'm not well enough, so. Um, and I, she'd go to her spot under the tree, and I'd be, you know, six or seven feet away in the sun. And that's what I did today. For like four hours, I just sat there, and uh, usually I'd have like my podcast going or music or anything. No, I sat there for four hours and just did what she used to do, you know. And it was so refreshing. I just enjoyed the sights and the sounds and the smell of nature, the flowers and trees blooming and the grasses and the insects, the bees flying around, you know. And and I just enjoyed it. And I recommend it to anybody. Uh, just just go outside. Enjoy nature. It doesn't have to be in the woods or in a you've got a backyard like I got, you can enjoy nature just in your backyard. Uh see the bunny today too. Uh I, I've never seen the bunny. I knew it was there for years because I'd always find bunny droppings, but I never seen the bunny, and today I seen the bunny. Uh little well it's a hair actually it's a big gray hair and uh yeah i seen him today for the first time seen a couple squirrels bunch of birds uh fat little porcupine i've seen a few times walk by he's cute i'm not gonna pet him though but you can stroke a porcupine contrary to popular belief they don't throw their quills they smack up against you with them and uh if you if it lets you you can pet with the grain of the quills and they, they, you, you won't get you won't get poked but i didn't because he's a wild animal and i didn't want to take the chance of getting poked <laughs> so oh, shoe fell off my sandal there we go um anyway yeah that was the day for me so it was a good day that's kind of a quick review because it really isn't much to talk about with this one because first off i didn't go anywhere but i put this on before i went out uh the one my sister got me for christmas christian lacroix bazaar um just a couple in my moisturizer, and then I, I knew it was light, so I loaded it down, probably a dozen sprays, and uh, not quite a dozen, probably eight or so, and uh, went outside, and it worked really well in this kind of weather. Like I said, the sun is hot, but not overly hot. I imagine it working better in real tense heat, but uh, yeah, the performance, and not the best, but not the worst. I mean, it's, it's, it's a light scent. Uh, it projected for about an hour, arm's length out there. Then for about two hours, I was getting a bubble, and I'd get little whiffs and wafts of it every now and then. It was really nice, just a little bubble, you know, maybe half a foot to a foot. Then it comes in pretty quick, and it's a skin scent for a couple hours, and you still get whiffs and wafts of it, you know what I mean? Especially outside when the air would blow just right. Um, but it's a really nice scent. I really like it. It's simple. There's not a whole lot to it. Um, they classify it as... a uh, I think an aquatic fougere. And yeah, that's pretty much it because it, the mellow, again, the water, the aquatic vibe is not seawater. It's not ocean. It's more just, it's coming from a melon because it's a sweet melon like water, uh, like a honeydew melon or something like that. You know what I mean? So that's where the aquatic vibe is coming from. But this is mostly a green scent, believe it or not. I get hit with, some people say a pine. 
uh, uh, it's more of a fir to me, a fir tree. Uh, and I know the difference because it's where I'm at. There's tons of them, all of them. Uh, and when you first spray it on, you're hit with... <laughs> Sorry, I was outside all day, so my allergies are going to act up. Uh, you're hit with this, uh, like I said, this citrusy, sweet, watery melon. Um, citrus is definitely grapefruit and I think uh, yuzu because um, it's slightly bitter too but not grapefruit citrus bitter more that yuzu bitterness um, then you know 15-20 minutes some lavender starts coming out and some woody notes but what really comes out is this green fur giving it almost a minty medicinal vibe very, in a nice way very nice very nice and that lasts pretty much from start to finish once it comes out i really like that um yeah that's that's pretty much it uh people compare it to like dolce gabbana light blue i don't i mean the grapefruit maybe but the rest of it no i don't really get that um to me it would be more similar to uh the tersardi there the tersardi uh, way for him because that minty fur green kind of resin is is what's prominent in both of them um and some people complain about it they don't like that smell that's fine i love that smell i love that i mean it's still on me that's a sweet green sharp a sharp like i said sharp somewhat medicinal green very nice very nice um so that's it guys that was a day with i didn't go anywhere so obviously i didn't get any compliments uh, but I can see this one getting you compliments. It's 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 fresh, clean, sweet, green. I mean, it is what it is. It's pretty much what you get. All right, guys. Peace, love, be good to each other.